So look, y'all, um, things are still looking stable. Uh, you know, as, as more of the uh, the holders come in, uh, I expect the I expect the uh, the Saitama project. I expect us to get a little bit more stable on uh, the charts. I expect uh, Saitama to have more of a um, consolidation, a point, a good point of uh, consolidation. Um, remember, we had really trended a a, a little bit, uh, kind of like in the two the two zeros two range. Okay, and now we're seeing that um, now we are saying that the price is starting to go up. The price is starting to go up because, like I said, you're having a lot of those. Uh, you're having a lot of more holders coming in. Not only do you have a lot more holders coming in, uh, but you have a lot more holders uh, long-term holding coming in. They're long-term uh, holding uh, coming in, and that's a good part. Now, remember when we seen? Um, remember when we seen a downtrend? Okay, now we switched over to from V1 to V2. Uh, we seen the downtrend, and you know a lot of individuals were kind of upset. They're talking about the prices dumping and all of that stuff. Uh, remember what I said. All, all, uh, remember what I always say. Okay, uh, the high point, the highest point of any crypto, right, is not the norm for uh, cryptos to stay above. Okay, the all-time high is not the norm for these cryptos to stay above. That y'all have to understand. It's the norm when cryptos go down and then come back up and kind of consolidate you know kind of like in the uh the the mid range or something like that or at least close to the mid range okay um long as the price is not all the way dumping down like if the price was still at around uh if the price was still at around like in the two range or, or whatever like that like the two one range of uh, where it was and we we're like close to 70k holders or we are 70k or 73k holders okay then you you make it um you make it you know, you make a question things and, and not really even question anything because more than likely, you know, if if the price was like that, then more than likely we, we would have uh, a lot more sellers, okay, affecting the charts than uh, buyers, okay? And that would also question other things as far as the uh, defense mechanism for this project. Remember what I said, we got well stability right now, okay? The whales are not able to go crazy. And so you're seeing that. You're seeing the benefits of having the number one defense of uh, any crypto in crypto. You're seeing that the whales are not able to go crazy. You're seeing the charts stay stable, okay? Look, the whole time we was getting pissy and getting mad and all of that stuff at Sadermass, we was up there building a masterpiece, and everybody was getting uh, kind of jacked up. You know what I'm saying? Say, uh, look, say the mass did not have to be complete. It did not have to be uh, complete. All we had to do, the goal for say the mass was for us, for uh, the Saitama uh, team, to get something positive out of it. What could we get out of this project? Because number one, it was an, ex it was an experiment. It was an experiment in the first place. It was never really meant to be complete. So a lot of individuals, right, who are saying, oh, you know, say the mass was a fail. No, it wasn't. It wasn't no fail. We got the, num the number one defense out of there. And number one, you're seeing it on the charts with V2. You're seeing it on the charts with V2. So it was never a fail. Okay, it was an experiment. Uh, they did a good job. Uh, we have to leave the, uh, you know, we had to uh, the shed that, we had to shed that skin of, of, of uh, say the mass and leave that old skin behind and climb into the new skin, which is uh, Saitama uh, V2, okay? Um, and the thing is, uh, another thing is we have the uh, the AMA coming up. Um, and the, like I said, this right here is going to, you know, this, this AMA right here should, um, it should really shed some light and really some, uh, some clarification on, uh, you know, the whole situation with the wallets and all that because, I'm going to tell you right now, I get tired of individuals asking me, you know, hey, when do I get my, my, when am I, when am I going to get my air drops? You know, they ask me like I, like I work with them. I mean, look, it would be good to work with, with those guys and stuff like that and have some kind of connection, uh, you know, in, in crypto. I'm not making my own projects no time soon, but you know, that's just not the case. So hopefully this AMA can, uh, shed some light. 
on uh, uh, the situation because look, there's a reason for everything. There's a reason behind everything. There's a reason why we're going through uh, the situation with uh, BKEX. And uh, the thing that kind of gets me kind of, you know, cringe about the BKEX situation because everybody, you got, you got, um, you got investors in the whole BKEX situation, the Coinbase wallet. Uh, what is the other one? Trust Wallet, MetaMask. Everybody's coming from everywhere asking about this stuff. Okay, and the thing is this with the BKEX situation. None of look a lot of individuals, right, who are asking me. They say, "Hey, Realm, what's going on with BKEX?" Look, all we know is what they can tell us, right? And they had like a little article come out and stuff like that, right? Uh, but I believe there may be more going uh, on behind closed doors because you got to think about it, right? All the other centralized exchanges, okay, they fell in line. So it's not really much, in my opinion, because the other centralized exchanges fell in line and, and, and uh, you know, assisted in completing the migration and all of that stuff and the airdrops and all of that, that tells me that it's really nothing uh, going on on, say, Thomas' side. Because if that was the, if it was something going on, then you would not only have BKEX uh, complaining about, uh, you know, airdrops and all of that stuff, but you would have other, um, you would have other uh, centralized exchanges doing the same thing. So it, it makes, it leads me to believe that whatever is going on is on the centralized exchange side, which is BKEX. I, I think Saitama has done uh, what they're supposed to do. Uh, they, they follow in instructions. Uh, so far of these other entities to the letter okay as far as uh, getting things in order so we can complete these airdrops and migrations okay and it, yeah they've done a good job so for the bkex uh situation i believe that there's something going on on their end i believe there's something going on on their end i don't know why they have not fallen in line with the other uh centralized exchanges i don't know they supposed to look they're they're supposed to be no different than everybody else right they're a centralized exchange and the situation with um the the wallets like i said uh you know that situation right there is different from the centralized exchange situation Not look people y'all just gotta wait on that i don't know what to say because every day and you you know you're getting individuals right who are waking up to airdrops the same individuals that are complaining are some of the same individuals that are still getting up uh, to airdrops and you know that's how it is so it's not like the 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 people that's they got problems or whatever with not, not having their airdrops they're not going to get them they're going to get them all right you just have to have patience all right and uh as far as also the the bkex situation right uh, i wanted to point this out also um they did release an article okay they did release uh an, an, an announcement of what's going on and I always redirect individuals, right? Always redirect individuals and say, hey, you know, um, have you checked out this article? Have you checked out this announcement right here? No. This is what they tell me. They tell me, no, I don't, I have never heard of that. Okay. They'll say, no, I haven't heard of no announcement. So how is it that you invest on this platform? How is it that you invest on this platform? Okay. And you've been complaining for weeks okay or whatever it may be and yet you're not even keeping up with any announcements that the platform that you are investing in okay uh are sending out okay pay attention to the announcements the alerts all right because they're sending it out look number one if i don't care what platform you are investing on if there's a situation going on okay with with said platform the first thing you need to do is track down all of their social medias okay put the notification bells on or whatever they have uh that you're going to get a, a, an alert or whatever like that and, and and watch them like a hawk stay on them like a hawk that's what that's what y'all should be doing for the individuals that's having problems whether it be coin coinbase wallet trust wallet metamask uh bk uh ex or whatever it may be okay if y'all if y'all have cryptos if y'all have uh, uh, say Tama in a wallet. If y'all have, it's individuals that tell me they still have billions of uh, to say Tama in a wallet on certain exchanges and all of that stuff. Okay, 
If y'all, if look, that's y'all hard earned money. You want to watch that like a hawk, okay? If you got stuff sitting on exchanges or whatever like that, uh, you know that thing you're supposed to get certain airdrops, whatever the situation may be. Y'all have to watch that like a hawk, okay? Don't just be all nonchalant, all reckless, and just be like, hey, when am I getting my airdrops? Hey, why y'all not looking at the BKEX announcements, okay? Get to the social media, uh, pages of these platforms okay so y'all will be informed all right so i want to make this video and remember okay every now will be history tomorrow and you either have patience in this crypto investing space or you lose in the end and you do not want to be a loser so this is my video and i will catch you all on the up and up audi